Modern day slavery hits the Ohio House floor today. The bill will help survivors of the sex trade industry and punish the people who force the victims into it. ONN's Kristen Severance joins us with more on a group fighting human trafficking for the last five years. You met them today. Yes, the group did meet today, and I've done several human trafficking investigations over the last year, and I've heard the name Teresa Flores over and over again. She told her story in front of hundreds today in Cleveland, and I can see why she's becoming the face. Of this issue in Ohio. My message to people is that this is happening in every community, um, and it looks like me. Teresa Flores is a mother, advocate, and author. She's also a survivor of human trafficking. When people come up to me, sometimes it's survivors. Um, I've had that happen a couple times today where they're like, this happened to me too. The Columbus woman says knowing there are others that share her pain does not bring her comfort. It's more difficult to hear that there's others than it is to stand up in front of 250 strangers and tell my story. She does it anyway. She tells the worst moments of the two years she was forced to have sex with dozens of men every night. Here I was, 16. With a sea full of men, you couldn't even see the furniture. The only female. And that night, I was literally auctioned off to the highest bidder over and over again. Flores eventually escaped and now travels the country telling her story and trying to help rescue victims. She spoke in front of hundreds at an event by the Collaborative Initiative to End Human Trafficking. This month marks five years since the group started their mission. Which is to educate, to advocate, and to connect services for trafficked victims. Her talk comes on the same day the Ohio House is set to vote on a human trafficking bill. The law would further prosecute the pimps and johns involved in the sex trade and help the girls forced to sell themselves. No teenager chooses to have sex with 10 to 15 strangers every night. There's no way. Um, and we need to reach out to her and offer her an option and give her some help. Flores is also in charge of an initiative called SOAP that stands for Saving Our Adolescents from Prostitution. They put a national hotline on a small bar of soap and then put the soap in any hotel that will let them, hoping to reach the victims that are brought there and oftentimes forced to have sex. Live in the studio tonight, I'm Kristen Severance, The Ohio News Network.